everyone, Ellie here. Well, today I uh, thought I would actually make an organization system for my Distress Oxide stamps. So, uh, I they just sit on my shelf and I'm not happy because I'm always fossicking for the colors. So, what I've started to do today is I've started making um, this here to put my stamps in as such. So I've just about finished one side but I thought I'd just jump on and just show you what I'm actually doing. Uh, so I do have the colours uh, on the side of my stamps here but what I've got is I've got some old cereal boxes and what I have done on the back here I have just uh, measured out uh, approximately six centimeters uh, in so when my stamps actually go into here they'll just stick out just a little bit and that's what I want because I'll still be able to grab them okay so that's how they're going to sit in to this so the time has come that um, yeah I've like I said they're all over the shelf and I just wanted to do something so Tim Holtz has brought out 36 uh, stamp colors so mine is going to be six high three across which will be 18 but I'm going to make two of these and then I'm going to have them back to back so I've done this one I've only got one more row to put up the top here um, and uh, yeah so uh, the cereal box here like I said six centimeters by 20 centimeters okay and then what I'm doing is I'm just getting my scoreboard And what I'll do is I'm just going to score this at 8, 10 and 18 centimetres. So I am working in centimetres. Now I haven't trimmed this one to size so I'll just cut that. Okay. So I'll just cut this off here. And then I've got my tonic. So I'm scoring the sheet first and then cutting these up. Okay. So and they're fairly easy to cut up. Just like that. Just using my tonic guillotine. And because I've scored it um, in three places there, so I'm just going to fold it and I'm just putting the nice side in. Okay, and then all I'm doing, I've just got some sellotape here, and I'm just going to just make sure it's joined. Now, sometimes it is a little bit bowed, and I just get my bone folder and just give it a good crease with some sellotape, just sticking that down. Okay, so it's like that, and then I'll bend it the other way there. So I've made some here, ready to go, so I'll just do these ones. And I'm finding it fairly easy and just fairly quick to do these. So I'm just, um, yeah, just trying to get a little bit more organised, I guess, because when I do want to... Um, make something I do want to make sure that everything is at hand and obviously when you video as well you just like I like to be organized there as well so, just do these ones just trim that one off bit of 
sellotape hanging over. you know like it's a craft thing as well so you can make these instead of buying them so like these are old cereal boxes so now what I am doing also is so I've got one here drying and I've raided my peg basket okay and I've just put all the pegs so this is all glued together so I can take these out because they have been drying for a while Just like that and I'm just using PVA glue just to um, glue these all together so that's one row there okay now what I'm doing because it's going to be six high I have got some thicker cardboard here um, I don't know where I got this I've had it for a while and I think I got this from a friend so all I'm going to do is I'm gonna put this cardboard between every second one just to give it that little bit of strength so before I put those down I'll just do this one just so you can see what I'm doing like I said I'm just using PVA glue Then I'm just using my pegs. Just making sure it's okay. And I just want um, this just to hold together just while the PVA glue starts to hold itself. So Just like that. So I'm just going to pop that one to dry and then I'll do these ones here. So I'm just gluing two together. And you know, like you can sort of look back after you've done this and go, wow, you know, I've done something, um, some storage, and it looks pretty good. So I'm always pleased when I can do my own sort of creativity thing so that's one there so I'll just pop that one aside just like that biggish clip here so I'll just put that one in just like that. So while that's drying, what I'm going to do is just do the top bit here. So I need to cut some more. Okay, this is going to be my front because I'm keeping this one really flush as such. So they're like little matchbox boxes, I guess, to look at it. So I will just measure this out. So this is going to be so 24 centimeters. So I'll 
I'll just cut on my craft mat here. And I've got a Fiskars um, knife here. I do like this precision knife here. I use this quite often. And this is a self-healing mat that I've got. So I'll just... And this is really thick, this cardboard as well. Okay, so it's a bit rough there, but that doesn't matter. I can put that towards the back. Now I've done that, and now I want to do the six centimeters either side here. So that's going to be my supports between here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, these should be all dry now. So I do want to make sure that um, my front is all even these are the fronts here okay. I'm just going to glue this end here so it will actually stick on to this side here so I just want to get it into place at the moment just to and then I'll put my pegs on right, just line them up They're going to stick to the bottom. And also the side. As well. So it's really satisfying as well doing something like this rather than buying it. So I don't know about you, but um, I think sometimes these craft items are pretty expensive and I would rather be buying um, craft supplies rather than storage supplies because oh, I think you can always make them okay so that's there I'm just going to let that dry a bit okay and I'll be back and I'm just going to turn this over and I'm just going to do this top one here as well so because I do want these to be every second row so I'll pop that on the 
top there. Once again, I'll just pop some pegs on just so they glue, they um, hold together as well. And it doesn't take much for them to dry, which is a good thing. Okay, so I'll just put that one aside, let that one dry. So this one here, I'm just about finished, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, this is going to be my last row. I'm probably putting heaps of glue on, but that's okay. I just want to make sure that it sticks down. So you're not going to see this um, in the end. This one is just about done. Okay. Because I did put three together and realized, oh, I'm going to do it six high. So, but that's okay. So I'm just going to pop this one aside just for this to dry. Okay, so I'll just leave that one there to dry as well and I'll be back. So each side is finished now. Now what I have done is I have cut out some thicker of the cardstock at 24 centimeters by 13 centimeters and put it in between each side. And I'm just going to use masking tape just to adhere this all the way around. So both sides, top and bottom. And then what I'll do is I'll cut out the thicker cardboard because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this thicker cardboard all the way around so it will make it a very stable storage caddy. So I'll just cut that out. These are the sides here that I'm using that I'm measuring out. So, uh, and I'm just getting it on, tipping it up on its end just to get it exact. So I'll just cut that out. So cutting that out. So just double checking that it measures okay, which it does. And I'll just stick that on with some masking tape um, as well. But I'll use PVA glue just to uh, glue this down. So once again, just using the pegs just to hold that in place as well. 
So I don't think I had many pegs in my basket left. So, and I did this at night. So just doing the same thing, just with some PVA glue and just sticking that down with some masking tape. So that's all done. Now this is what my shelf looked like before and this is what it looks like now. So this is my ink storage caddy for my Distress Oxide inks and it will fit 36 of the inks in here. So if Tim Holtz uh, does make up some more I'll just make another caddy I think so I was really pleased with how this has turned out now the inks do come out really easily okay so as you can see um, I also put some washi tape uh, between each one here so it's all lined in between with some washi tape and then I covered it with some Kayser Craft wrapping paper and I just love this wrapping paper isn't it gorgeous just heaps of butterflies now the distress inks also do fit in really easily so as you can see they just slide in and you could even put the blending foam on the back if you wanted to but I've just got them just in a little box next to um, Caddy here so this will actually live on my shelf and I'll just pop it on the shelf so it's gonna fit up here just like so and because this shelf is a little bit deeper um, I did want it sitting on its side like this and not singly because if it was single it would um, a lot of the shelf space would be lost now how do you um, see what inks you want you might ask so on the bottom here I do have some felt pads and this assists in being able to swivel my little caddy around to see so they are all in uh, color order so I know that my pinks to greens are on this side and my blues to blacks are on this side here now this does measure when it is finished just under 25 centimeters in length so 25, just under 25 centimetres. The height will be 14 centimetres and the width is going to be 12 centimetres. Okay, so I've really liked how this has actually turned out. And I hope this video inspires you to make your own uh, distress ink caddy. Uh, it was really fun uh, to do and it sits on my shelf there quite nicely. So if you have enjoyed this please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel and if you do please hit that notification bell for more up and coming videos. And until next time happy crafting. See ya!